All right. Okay. Um, my mic looks a little quiet. Hold on. Hello. Why is my mic quiet? My had a few technical difficulties. Wasn't foreseeing all of that. Um. Oh, let me just. Why is my mic so low? What? Oh, where's where's the culprit? I know where the culprit is. All right. So, um, as you can see, Han, I have to I have to give some of the updates. Okay, so if there's lag, let me know because what I was doing was I was trying to see if I can stream while my thing is rendering at the same time. Right now, OBS is not giving me any any problems, but that doesn't mean the other things couldn't give me problems. So, uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. So if there's lots of lag, I'll check in one second, and then we're gonna have to make some changes. It's YouTube chat that's lagging the worst, but laggy, hella lag, laggy. Okay, hold on. Uh-huh. How bad is the lag? Let me just see what's going on. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me let me change this one. Baby update. Okay, that is the baby update. Video out of sync lag. You're doing a body flicker? Hmm, okay, hold on, let me see what's going on. Streamlabs taking a bunch. Google's taking a bunch. Let me... Because I really want this video to come out like right after we're done with the reaction, and it might be possible. So, so I know that we're a little bit delayed, but okay. So, if if you guys can, you guys hear me? I'm looking at the chats right now. Can you guys hear me? Why the McDonald's colors? That's just the thing. Oh, you guys can hear it. Okay, okay, okay. So I know that this this is currently laggy. I understand. So two things are happening. I'm going to try and fix the lag so that the video that I'm working on can render while we're doing the reaction so that I could play it for you guys after the reaction. Now, second thing is we already are kind of, you know, TCB hasn't hasn't released it yet. Unless if TCB's here and says it's coming soon, we might we might have to rely on the other thing on the on the other scans for this week in order to keep up with the schedule because you know now now that we have the child here, I I can't dictate all of the free time the baby does so. So th this weekend is kind of busy. So if I don't get do the reaction now kind of can't do the reaction so so gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna, it's less and less laggy and then the lag is much higher okay just talk real slow um let me see though let me let me try and fix this lag so if if tcb drops it while i'm fixing the lag then you know we we're good but might need to how many how many of these things oh i have a bunch of these tabs open okay uh these are trash trash so how is your guys day going you know um sometimes oh wait hold on i have to check this one please tell me i turned this off also have you guys seen my YouTube shorts? If you guys haven't seen them yet, 
I recommend this is a great time to check them out. You know, they're each one minute long. And they're quite the the watches. And, and you know what? You might even find out some of my future content from those YouTube shorts or TikToks or on my IG Reels. Believe it or not, guys, my I, my Instagram Reels are the most popular place where I'm popping off. So if you want to support the vision popping off, follow my Instagram. Um, okay, let's close this. Trontheridon? What is that? Wait, I have to keep that tab open. Oh, I have to get back to this channel artist. This one. Oh, he didn't ask me to look at that. I didn't. Such a bad homie. No. All right. Okay, how are we doing on how many? Okay, so we're good on that front. Let me see. Chat has some cool colorful, color, colorful names. Do they? Cookie Ninja, hit me up with some examples. What are some examples? Wait, Cookie Ninja, you... What? Uh, I've definitely missed this. Cookie Ninja is a member of the channel? I apologize for not remembering that. If I have not shouted that out, I apologize. Um... Okay, wait, is the lag better? Par fought my Uncle Brian outside of Target in Arkansas? You fought or I fought? Cookie Ninja is also a YouTuber. Yes, I can tell, Dale. That's why I, I, I apologized. Um, it's actually my two-month anniversary. Welcome to the Visionary Crew. Is it better or am I still, like, laggy? Like... Out of rated out of ten, guys. I know you guys can hear me. Out of ten, is oh, it's a little choppy on my end. I'm just an avid One Piece enjoyer. Fair enough. Look at him; he's humble too. Stop hiding the cookies. <laughs> Give me those cookies. All right, negative sixty nine three seven one hundred bits laggy. It's a seven out of ten. Okay, if it's a bit laggy, I think I think we sacrifice it. I think we sacrifice it for the sake of this video coming out at the end of the stream. I think, you know, sometimes in life you got to make sacrifices and the, this is one of those times, guys. This is one of those times. All right? So, let me just adjust the thing. Let me just adjust the Audio is fine, dude. The video is slightly laggy. The Tamers, I like how you communicated that. I might even make you a mod. Clear communication. We appreciate that here. All right. So, Riz for real. Oh God. Um. So, we have the ch we we. D d TCB's not up yet. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. For this week, rely on OP scans, unless it comes out in like the next minute or two. Was there something else I wanted to say? So after the stream, we will be doing, um, I'm going to premiere the video. Hopefully it renders while we're doing the reaction. Uh, l since we started a little bit late, we're going to try to run through the chapter a little bit quicker. Hopefully, not hopefully. I don't want to say hopefully because like last week, Last week, the chapter with the, the St. J. Garcia Saturn, we spent like 40, I don't, I think we spent like 45 minutes just on the name and I wasn't going to talk about it. But then when Psy came on, we talked about it more. So I'm not saying I hope that the chapter is super fast, but like, I hope that we can like get through the chapter in, in a way that we get through the chapter, but we also like aren't spending 45 minutes on a single name because we're a little pressed for time because I was late. Um, but we're still going to get Psy on, so we, yeah, so, so, you know, I think, I think we manage. We're going to get through all the super chats at the end of the stream. 
Um, and then me and Sire are going to record our discussion for his channel afterwards. Yeah. All right. Wow. Did you read the spoilers? I did not. OP Scans has a new team this week, so it's good quality and better translations. Oh, size in the chat. Um, that's the OP Scans link. Yep, we're still gonna have the Milky Way. Bring OP Scans. I'm just gonna wait for TCB. Ricky Servant. Yeah, that that's fair. If you guys wanna wait for TCB, normally I do. It's just that I can't. If I don't do it right now, because is the schedule that I had, um, we won't have a live reaction this week. Which I think, you know, I like staying with TCB because uh, I've done that for a year now. Oh, over a year. But, you know, and, and you know, there's uh, one of my one of my the most popular video on my entire channel, entire channel right now is my short where I talk about the translational differences between what TCB did what Viz did, and then sort of what was said in the Japanese, uh, at least like the terminology. And the overall point of that short that most people missed was that because we are not Japanese, we're not reading the raws, we should rely on multiple translations. The officials, the fans, luckily there are multiple teams now translating it because no matter what you do, when you translate something from its source language, you are going to lose context. You're going to lose meaning. So when you, you know, like if you have multiple translators, then you can get to the closer meaning. And, and I think, uh, from what I've understood, uh, OP scans does kind of like a one-to-one -one translation, which, uh, might miss some of the nuance that Viz might get and TCB adds more of the nuance and what ends up happening is sometimes the meanings are lost in both directions. Sometimes you add too much, sometimes you add too little, and then, you know, even the viz is time sometimes like missing some things. So then you add all three together. Boom. You have a beautiful baby. And that that is how babies are born. You know, if you can <laughs> this is why. This is why incest is bad, guys, okay? Spoiler alert, you know, if you keep reusing the same source code, you're going to mess up, mess it up somewhere down the line. And what you have to do is you have to genetic diversity, boom. You know what I mean? And that's how you, that's how you keep things, like, on the right track. Um... Okay, let's uh let's see what's the Ralph oh God. It's not what I meant, but you know what I mean. So that's why yes, that is why because if you you know, we can make this about the Celestial Dragons. We don't know how they do things, but like, yo, they they don't be looking great and I wonder why. You know, if three days in the chat, you know, Alabama is known for a certain set of actions you know and and um and uh you know like if the whole world did that we'd be you know pretty messed up place is all i'm gonna say new arrivals are very confused now yep yep um all right so <laughs> so uh uh let's see enroll time baby <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay okay <clears throat> I live in Oklahoma. We do sigh. It's super common. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. So, so that was all. Uh, let Let's see if TCB updated. TCB updated anything. They did not. Did not update. All right. So let's get started on the chapter here, guys get started let's make sure it shows up properly okay all right as you guys can tell you guys are helping the experience here if you guys are new uh with on the stream you guys you guys are um transforming the chapter uh subtachi bro your new logo thing made it difficult to recognize see home alabama riff plays in the background yeah <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. 
So the video that's supposed to premiere after this is rendering. Woo, weird. Look at this productivity. Oh my God, I need to set up my second computer too. Or third, technically, but. Oh God, I see Know You from Volley 1, Fredo. Fredo? Fredo. Appreciate you. None. All right, another thing about the, the experience here is uh, <laughs> this is a family. <laughs> This is a family, so what happens in the family stays in the family. You know, whatever conversations we had, full circle. All right, continuing. <clears throat> One Piece, chapter 1074, Mark 3. Okay. Okay, very interesting. We have, a, we have like a 30-year-old 30 30 Caesar queen judge looks like. They they look like they're past their college days, their youth, their prime. And they started going to their, you know, midlife crisis versions. Though judge, you know, it's debatable. I think that's what happens to nerds a lot of times. It's like, you know, sometimes you, you the glow up happens in the 30s. Um, some would say that about me. Just kidding. Caesar, Caesar's rocking the hairdo. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't even know. This doesn't even look like Caesar. Like that. That that, that looks like. That looks like um, man. There's a character in Wano that this looks like the Yokozuna. No, I don't know. And then Queen. We start seeing Queen. Um, also going to the Yokozuna phase also, um, very, very interesting. What's, what's, what's the thing? An emotional, emotionless if excursion, three war torn men. Why are they war torn? Do they all like fight in a war? I thought they were the laboratory of peace, man. So judge already started Germans double six while he was in mats. And Queen already has a cybernetic arm. You know, I wonder when did when did Queen if if when did Queen join the Beast Pirates? Huh. I'm a little interested on that now. That's kind of interesting to think about when you put it together, right? Like, bro was what? Like, because if, if Judge started Germa, then yeah, maybe he was already in Beast Pirates by then. He wasn't in any Kaido flashbacks. Yeah. You think after the Mads dissolution, that's when he, he did it? But if Judge could start Germus double six while in Mads, then like, maybe he did that too. That'd be, that's interesting. That, I'm going to look at the timeline later. Let's not stay. Oh no, OP Scans doesn't have the Oda's notes. Do they have Oda's notes? Do they, is, is it there? I really like looking at Oda's notes. Come on. All right. OP Scans does not have that. That's fine for today. Egghead Fabrio phase. This one standing in the way are... Wait, what? The one... Oh, I thought they said this one. Dyslexia. The one standing in the way are... Oh, so OP Scans also translates the Shonen Jump thing. Aren't you guys with the Navy? Don't let government weapons get in our way. How dare you hurt? Let me move the laptop a little bit so it's not like off the side like that. Uh, how dare you hurt my shooting a cannon? What the heck? What? <laughs> Why would you shoot a cannonball at a pacifista? Wait, this is a pacifista. That's not the Seraphim. Seraphim's up top. Wait, is this just the... Oh, is this the cop? This might be the cop, right? What the heck is happening here? Huh? What? Is that Fishman Karate with the air? Did he just... What? What? 
That's sick. PX3. Okay, I'm assuming that's Mark III. Well, this is the 41 model. God damn, there's so many of these pacifistas. What are his abilities? It's a bubble shield. Vegapunk invented it? It's a powerful shield. What? Wait, so it's not even the fruit. He... He copied... He copied the fruit? Like his Zaru light? Like, wait, is this, is this supposed to be Kuma's fruit? It's on a different level from the prototypes used in the Paramount War. It's the Pacifista Mark III. Do not resist. Move to Factory B. Marine Scientific... Oh, Marine Scientific Group. Combat Weapon Pacifista. Why do I feel like that's a weird translate? Is it supposed to be... Isn't, is that supposed to be SSG? Marines SSG? Everyone surrender. If you fight him, you'll only end up dying. Yeah, maybe shooting cannonballs at him wouldn't be great. But also, goddamn. Like, can you... Can, like... I, me and Sai talked about this a long time ago. Like, at the beginning of Egghead. Like, Vegapunk is... Yonko level. And the reason why I say that... Is because... If there are a 41 of these, let's just say, like, there it goes to triple digits. There has to be a hundred of these. Can't a hundred of these solo, like, the Beast Pirates? You know what I mean? Like, like not not like the Toby, Tobo, Toby Ropo and below. You have a hundred of these? I feel like, I feel like you're Yonko crew level. Like, easily. Right? Like, easily. Who gave him those orders? There's no way a pacifista would just act on its own like that. Apprending, apprehending, apprehending, apprehending him now. I need to know. I need to know the, the voice. I need to know. Fabrio. Oh, they scuffed the Fabrio. <laughs> it's supposed to say Fabrio face. <laughs> I, I still want to know what... Does anyone know? I don't even remember. Does anyone know what Fabrio... Like, the etymology is supposed to be? Like, Fabrio? It just sounds funny. Don't move. You'll injure yourself. So far... So far, the translations, you know, it I is better than I expected. Um, Though, I, I mean, obviously, there's, like, situations like that. But this is what it is. Um, And obviously... So far, like I said, I, I think so far it was accurate. Like, this kind of conversation isn't that important for all of the nuance of it. But we'll see what it says. We'll, we'll see how it is. This is kind of, you know what this is? This is kind of like a, like a taste test. We're taste testing different translations. What different translation teams cook up. So let's see how this tastes by the end of the, the review. What a day. What's going on upstairs? Looks like something happened there. Sentamaru is just chilling. They even closed the Frontier Dome. I can't get in contact with Old Man Punk. Oh, wait, why did I say that? Oh, is that Carrot? Is that Carrot? No way. Carrot is on Egghead, confirmed. Just joking, just joking. I can't get in contact with old man punk. Interesting. So he's just like not dead. Leave it up to me. We will get Vega Punk out of here no matter what. Huff huff. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What I'm worried about is the fact that the Marines are contacting contacting us without realizing it. I'm also now a rebel. Without are, the Marines are contacting us without realizing that I'm also now a rebel. Interesting. So I will just do as I please. All 50. They have 50 here. 50 Mark III pacifistas move out. God damn. That is scary. Straw Hat Luffy will let Dr. Vegapunk board his ship. Letting Vegapunk set sail safely is your responsibility. Understood. 
The Navy is acting strange. Go and keep a lookout. Go and keep a lookout. Hey, wait, let us out. Something is definitely going to happen to this island. So far, the dialogue in this chapter is just like filler. <laughs> I don't give a shit what they do about them. I get it, but like, and then like something, something is definitely going to happen to this island. Like, thank you, citizens. Thank you. Thank you. No matter what it takes, make sure you get your creator off this island. Mr. Bushido, two years, don't screw with me, part. I, I, I mean, I'm looking for you, Mr. Bushido. I'm looking for you. Egghead, labo phase. What's going on? They have to be inside the lab, right? All right. Huff, huff. I'm really worn out from running around so much. Luffy, you broke the hover boots with all that running. Don't tell me I have no money to pay him back. Interesting. Where did the old man go? Dang, these hover boots suck. Luffy just ran and broke them? How did... How did... Luffy... Okay, okay. Luffy running... Okay, see, this, is, this goes back. Remember how I predicted that the Dom shoes would be magnets beforehand. And what I theorized was that they would magnetize the straw hats that went into the thing and they would lock them down. But Sanji being the leg goat, the goat with the feet, heat on feet, I thought he would be able to break it, but they never showed that, like break free of it. To be fair, he never like tried, but like, he didn't like like really try like you know like i'm i imagine if like nami got slapped right like bob right and then sanji would diable jambe ifri break the boots right but you're telling me luffy broke them just by running i don't know where did also where did the shoes we still need to get the i think the anime is going to show us right the anime is going to show us, like, did Luffy, when he went into Gear 5, did he strip? Did he strip and then he, like, folded the clothes neatly and then when he was done with Gear 5, he, like, put them back on? <laughs> like, how does that work? We need to know. <laughs> Where did Old Man Apple go? Oh, yeah, we got nicknames. Old Man Apple. And Bonnie, too. Ooh. Ooh, Old Man Apple is a nickname. Bonnie's the real name. No, Bonnie is here. Huh? Everything in the lab is right here on the monitor. Say that sooner. As you can see, Bonnie is right there. Why didn't you tell us sooner? <laughs> so Luffy is running around, but Shaka could see every... Shaka. Shaka is interesting. Whoa, this place is awesome. Is it the future? Weren't we going to set sail? And oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the. Oh. And Zoro. Oh no. And Brooke is, Brooke is cool. Brooke is cool. I don't know why he, they gave him the bell bottom sweater, but like, yo, Zoro? In a, I didn't know. I didn't know I needed to see Zoro in a unitard. Like, what color is it? Because, you know, in the manga, we can't tell the colors of things because, like, dark shade could just be dark colors. Is he used to... I hope it's still green. Vestasi is looking good. Yo, this jacket, though, that's... That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Nami? Robin? I mean, like, yo, I'm okay with... I'm okay with Stussy joining the crew. You know what I mean? Like, we could handle three, right? Right. How's he going to take out his swords? Oh, it's going to be the old anime fashion. Just, it doesn't make sense, but it's, it's, probably you're a married man with a kid. And, and my wife is watching the stream. She understands. 
She understands. Oh my god! Oh my- York is a giant? York is a giant? Oh, Cole is gonna freak out, bro. Par is not the horniest one in the chat. You, I, you see me. Listen, listen, listen. There are no tissues. There are, there are no tissue boxes. There's no lotion. There's nothing like that of the sorts here. Um, all I know is, 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 is York... <clears throat> all right you guys you guys want the dad vision all right you guys want the dad vision dad vision is clear dad vision is clear okay i dare you i dare you to get any of your other favorite streamers to pant check them they won't cole won't larry won't brago won't you know i'm the only one that keeps it real all right yom sin if you guys if you guys want the new people <laughs> The new people here. <laughs> Essentially, we started this thing where we pant check streamers because I'm going like Oda. Oda is doing something right. Ever since No Not November, Oda has been trying to catch us lacking. All right, and the thing is, Oda don't got me like that. So we pants check them, and I know for a fact. I'm the only one who passes him. Cole, Brago, Jay, yo, try, try. Ask them to get pants checked. They won't. At this point, we gotta check pants check Oda. I'm the only one that can escape the allegations. All right. It's called it's called mind over matter. All right. All I know is that York, bro, York. Oh my goodness. Also. My wife dressed up as York. Um, I gotta show her the new fit. My wife dressed up as I dressed up as Shaka, and my wife dressed up as York for the for Comic Con. We might have to pull up the cosplay again. <laughs> well, damn! All right, all right, all right, all right, enough eye candy. Enough eye candy. Let me read. Sometimes, sometimes you forget how to read. All right, I know you guys understand. I know you guys understand. I want to see Stella. What happened? Wait, why are we calling him Stella? My all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, my name is Stella. Is all I'm saying. All all I know is that everyone is gonna change their Twitter handle to Stella right now. Cause if Stussy's trying to meet Stella, I, I could beat Stella. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> there are two strange occurrences going on. Keep calm and listen. Oh my God, that's a T-shirt. Shaka, Shaka face, keep calm and listen. The first one is the main, first one is the main body Stella is missing. The second one, oh. The second one is Frontier Dome isn't working correctly. Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay Shaka. Your face got bigger. Your face got better. Who are you talking about? Luffy, oh, to Atlas. We had spare parts. Ah, Alice is just like hi. <laughs> Yo, Alice is like hello. <laughs> they fixed her up mad quick. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Also, Atlas. Does Alice grow? Cause like, if York is a giant, then what the hell is Atlas? That's crazy. That is that is wild. Um. This means we can't leave the labo phase. What? Wait, what? Oh my god, all this time I thought they would just jump. They just jump, they pull a kaido and jump off the cloud. If we leave now, we will get burned to death by lasers. <laughs> what, a f what a way to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, weren't we gonna take Vegapunk out to sea? That's right, but he has disappeared. First thing we have to do is find him. Then we can fix the dome. How are we gonna? F How about his Shaka? I don't. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Uh, I just gotta read Tommy Boy. Not you know his chat real quick, bro. I haven't felt the female touch in so long that I have waifus now. 
And Tommy Boy, I just want to let you know, though I may not be able to relate, there's plenty in the chat that can. Um, TCB dropped the chapter? Did they? No, he didn't. It says where? Where at? Where are we at? Link to chapter in my bio. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, wait, TCB listened. Alright, see, this is what oh never mind, never mind. I thought they'd listen. Never mind. Alright, alright, we're gonna continue reading the thing real quick. I just want to read the Oda's notes, because that was not in that was not in the OP's hands. The atmosphere at Green Live was exhilarating. I'm so grateful they used my illustration on the poster. All right, we got to see that later on. All right, let me let me just breeze through the chapter real quick to see the changes. Fabrios, you're meant to be the Marines, right? So far, scanning, what was that ability? It's a bubble shield, the ultimate defense invented by Vegapunk. Okay, slight changes, slight changes. Nothing super crazy. But this chapter is also not the best one. Oh, it doesn't even say Fabrio, it says Factory. Interesting. Please don't move. I have a great ruins. Da, 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 frontier drum seal. I meant oh of Grandpa Punk. Adorable. I'm gonna do a more one to one since I already read. I usually don't read the OP scans because never needed to. But I'm gonna do a, a comparison later on see how it goes. So far I see not too much. But this chapter is also not one with like crazy dialogue in like the the meaning the depth of them part of it so far i see the same thing but we'll continue on here okay all right we're here how are we meant to find him if he's not showing up on any of your monitors okay what i was going to say was that he said we should prioritize finding the Stella first. What did they say here? First thing okay, okay. See that oh, that is a difference. Okay, okay, that is that is an important difference. Cause what I was gonna say was the way this is translated, it's like one, two, three, right? But you could do all of them concurrently at the same time. It says first thing we have to do is find them, then we can fix the don't. But the nuance here is first we should prioritize finding Stella first. So when you prioritize something, doesn't mean that you're not doing things at the same time. It's a slight difference, but if any of you have worked in like a management, it's like that difference is important because you're giving directions and you're like first, second, third, then they're going to do first, second, third. But if you are talking about prioritization, then you're talking about doing things at the same time and ticketed things uh, that you give to, you know, uh, various team leaders. But that being said, I'll figure out a way to repair the dome in the meantime. Right, that's very. Uh, that's actually very different. Now that we're one to one right here, that is actually important. Again, this chapter so far, it doesn't seem like it's like a ten sixty nine chapter where it's like this is the devil fruits and the meaning behind it. Right, that for those things, I wouldn't even like TCB and then you know Viz. So shout out to TCB on that translation. Very good. How are we meant to find him if he's not showing up on any of your monitors? Okay. Um, well, these displays do normally show the entire lab. Oh, shit. Read the sent tomorrow part again. It ain't make sense in the OP scans. All right, let me see it again. All right. Sorry about that. Let me, let me double check this real quick. Um, I'm going to read this quickly, more quickly than I usually do. Okay. So it says the frontier's dome sealed and I can't even get a hold of grandpa, grandpa punk. It's unsettling. The Navy is still trying to reach me. They don't realize I'm already a rebel. I do like the way this is translated more. The meaning didn't change so much yet, but guess I can just do whatever I want now. All 50 stand ready to deploy. Straw Hat Luffy will be taking Dr. Vegapunk with him on his ship. Your mission is to see to that they are safely understood. The Navy might have something to do out there. See you stand guard at the coast. Stop moving. Let us out here. Something's going to go down on this island soon. No matter what happens, you must ensure your creator escapes. I don't see too much of a difference, but I'll compare more later on. I'm going to get back to the, the, the reaction part of it. Let's finish up this chapter. Then we can talk. Um, and then bring Scion. 
Um, well, these displays do normally show the entire lab, but that Seraphim Rampage just now must have incapacitated some of the baby monitor snails. Aww, the Seraphims killed the baby Denden Mushies? Come on! Yo, me and the Seraphims got issues now. They're killing babies? Uh, maybe they're just knocked out of position. They better be. Not the babies. I got a soft spot for... I mean, I always had a soft spot for babies. But now that I got a baby, you can't be nine out babies, bro. That's not cool. Oda... D See, Don Masma get it. D Oda doesn't kill. Look at all these Den Den Mushies, bro. <clears throat> I'm I'm having our workers and the other satellites search for him. He might have passed out in a blind spot. Shaka, it's Pythagoras. Oh wait, that's not Pythagoras' voice. <laughs> Third floor of C Tower seems empty. I see. Then shy next. The sooner we find him, the sooner we can set sail. Let's go search. I'll join you. See, Shaka is in the position to mess with everyone, right? Because he's monitoring things, but Pythagoras is double checking it. So, well, it's interesting. For treasure, too. Ooh. Ooh. I'll also take a look around. I'm worried. Ooh. Ooh, is Tazi Zama take me with you? Yo, I don't blame Sanji, bro. All I know is that if Whitebeard was still alive, if Whitebeard was still alive, bro, Sanji would be 10 feet underneath the ground, bro. Whitebeard would be smacking both them asses. You know what I'm saying? Like, he would be making Weevil 2.0 and Sanji would be gone. I'm pr like, yo, you got Zaki? Oh, I got Sanji in that fight. All right. Are you, I never thought I need to ask this question. Who wins? <laughs> Current Sanji? <laughs> old man Whitebeard. O old man Whitebeard is still strong. It's over women. So, but this is this is Whitebeard's woman. This is Whitebeard's woman, bro. You're telling me. You're, okay, listen, listen. We don't know. Whitebeard had no other kids. But I know, without a shadow of a doubt, he will bang in Stussy, bro. He had this he had the 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 the, the fetish. If you guys haven't seen my Whitebeard fetish uh video, go check it out. Is that a serious question? It is JP Legend, Seraphim of JD Legend. It is. This is Whitebeard's woman right here. You're telling me. Listen, 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 listen. If you're 80 and your your wife is 80 and you're chilling, you're you're at prime time, you know, it's beautiful, whatever. But if you guys went back in time, right? Like Marty McFly, right? Like you go back in time and you see prime time waifu, and then some kid doofus ass kid trying to riz up your girl, it's like white beard, it doesn't matter. He would even at the age of what 76 right at marine first so he's 78 now i don't know how old he was supposed to be he would go into his prime you know what i mean like the the power he pulled out for ace sure i get it but the power he pull out for stussy i don't know sandy soul is everyone for any woman no no no, no. but like this ain't his woman you know, you get that extra power is all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. All, all right, all right. So I see 75% of you have your head on straight. Whitebeard would put this Sanji in the ground for Stussy, bro. All I'm going to say. Guess I'll lend a hand. We're looking for a geezer with a sawed off head, right? Hold up, Ma said. You're going out to find someone fair. <laughs> but who's going to find you when you're done? Um, He's right. He's right, Zoro. You stay. But just be a deer and wait, okay? Yo, Robin. <laughs> 
Robin, you don't gotta use the 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 Riz on on Sanji like that. Also, also Zoro, Zoro, what is this? Uh, Zoro's a little too comfy, right? Like, I didn't I didn't think Zoro would be in that position. I don't, there's nothing wrong with sitting like that, but like, Zoro, the type of dude, put the ankle on the knee. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we're almost seeing too much ass right now, Zoro. Like, the ankle on the knee is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying I sit like the way Zoro is, but that's when I'm comfy. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little zesty. I'm, I, Chris, tell me <laughs> Zoro's experimenting. Man, what what damn pain. Well, they're just forming a surge party, so I guess they'll be fine. Anyway, you've been running all out, huh? Huff, huff. Yes, Z Z Luffy was. I always go all out for everything. <laughs> okay. Yo, wait, hold on. I just realized Rob, Luchi, and Kaku. Some... Oh, <laughs> I understood now. Robin's just stomping on Luchi. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, there's so much to see. What is happening in this picture? All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta move on. Um, where are we at? Damn. Can't believe we bumped into these bums again. TCB. It's okay. You can call them like it. You can call it like you see it. Bums. Takes me back to Water 7. I wonder how Ice Boss is doing. Yo, Iceberg is going to be relevant. All I'm saying. Lab interior paw room. Bonnie, don't touch that. Shut it. Get out of here. Why? Huff. Huff. Yo. Yo, Oda's giving close up of the lips. I don't know if you guys saw the anime. The way they did Hera's lip. Was it Hera? Hera's lips. Yes, I'm talking about Big Mom's <laughs> Somi Hera. In the manga, it was literally like a panel. In the anime, bro, they did something with those lips. They paid, they paid a down payment on a car on those lips. And I know... I know that they were prepping us for Bonnie's lips here right now. Stussy, Bonnie, oh my god, doll, all them lips. Lip piece for real, bro. Sob, sob, huff. Whoa, we're gonna see the... What's wrong? Hey. Is that Kuma? No, I'm gonna cry. Oh no, not a big baby Kuma. Oh no. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. Oh f no, bro. Okay, all right, we just can't. Wait, daddy. Oh god, seeing your parent like like that. I don't know. That's where, like, I feel like, I feel like even if you have a bad relationship with your parent, it's like, if you are in this situation where you got firsthand experience, like, 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 I'm thinking about like my wife's parents, right? Like my wife's dad uh, was in, was fought in a war and like they're like my mom's parent, like my mom's family, they were in a war, they were escaping. And like, you know, as much shit as I give them, I think about that like time and it's like, damn, that's like a whole crazy thing. And that's what, th that's what this reminded me of just now. I'm just like, <sighs> that's tough. That's tough. How is she seeing him through his memories? Yeah, that's what I think it is. Tire my ass. He's a sweet ass kid. Yeah. Kuma's a celestial dragon slave. Well, we don't know that much yet. We don't see the branding. And I pray we don't. Pray we don't, bro. Ain't no way. I will enter the manga if they turn. Ah. 
Ah, if if Kuma, I mean, oh, uh, I mean, technically as a pacifista, he already was. But if if he, if his life amounts to full sir, oh my god, that makes it so rough. If that's the case, think about it like this, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let, let's get the full context here. Wait, daddy, we've got you now. Come here. Someone saved me. I can't take it anymore. Bastard, get your ass back now. If you escape, they'll kill the rest of us. I don't want to go back. I don't want to ever go there again. What good's crying going to do, damn brat? What the? I can't get any closer. Just kill me instead. If I go back, I'll die anyways. Stop. It hurt. Oh! I'd recognize that hair anywhere. He's a celestial dragon? Slave? I'm sorry, stop it. Help me. Save me. Please stop it. Oh my god, this is gonna break me in the anime. Oh god. Bartholomew Kuma, Kuma is still going. Shoot him down. Bro, how are we supposed to read? I couldn't take it all in. and My resolve wasn't strong enough. But if I stay ignorant, I'll never be able to understand. Right, Dad? <sighs> This is wild. Kuma's so happy. Ah. Oh. Okay, we got the context. All right. So the so now, all right. I might need to make. I, this is. It's not even a theory video. It's just this is emotion. This is an emotional video, where it's like, think about it. If Kuma was a child slave, and it wasn't even like. It wasn't even like fish or tiger. Fish or tiger was a slave as an adult. Went had the resolve to go back and and rape the place. Kuma was a baby, bro, like boa, and he and he was so traumatized. He just he ran away and didn't want to go back. They were like beating his ass, and then as an adult, he signs away his life to be a robot and he knew the context of that that meant that he would become a slave again yo yo can you imagine this scene the anime oof bro I wrote my heart is hurting I love this chapter more than 10 something. It's incredible, emotional, revelatory. Yeah, this is, I, I mean, this is, this is different sauce. Princess Yamato. Oh, thanks for the sub. Wow. Seems like Kuma might have the saddest backstory of the series. Uh, that's what I've been saying. Anybody, any, all right, all right. Sai, ain't no way, bro. No, nah, we, we, I might ban Kuma slander any more. I can't tolerate it, bro. Nobody slandered Kuma ever again. Tell me, tell me, tell me one time Kuma ain't the goat, bro. Kuma, Kuma. Bro. Wow, they totally. They, wow, they really totaled the place. Even they were born here. Even though they were born here? Stella, where are the blazes did you get to? Oh, I like how they said born. They're talking about the seraphims, I'm guessing. Hmm. Ah. Kuhaha, -ha, get a load of this. What? We, what? Big News Morgans? What is this? <laughs> what the f what is the train how oda 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 please 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 you can't just make me cry 
then then take me back to like Egghead and then like throw me at Big News Morgans. Like I care, I I want to care about Big News Morgans, but I I kind of don't right now. Gotcha. Cool, cool. The world government intends to assassinate the beloved Dr. Vegapunk. They plan to kill the world's greatest genius? It's like Ohara all over again. But they've miscalculated this time. The good doctor is far too popular for this to fly. Yeah, he's been in every newspaper. He's, the lo he's loved as the man that develops energy to light up towns the world over. Fortunately, guess who else happens to be on the scene? This guy, Nika. Oh my, I mean, they're going to say Luffy, obviously, but the face of Nika, they're going to make the world hope for Luffy. Nika, they're going to, the, the, in chapter 1069, as long as the world um, like wishes for it, it becomes reality. So let's make the headline, Navy skirmish at Egghead. Emperor Straw Hat Luffy takes Vegapunk hostage? Huh, okay, so so this is the thing. This is the thing. People think that Big News Morgans was completely de betraying the world government and in the navy, but no, he has to walk the line still. This is like what news organizations do in our world. They have they have an umbrella corporation, investors they, they have to spin headlines for, and this is an example. I'm sure the government will appreciate that spin. Go collect their contribution. Oh, and and he's taking money from them. And he's taking money from them. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yes, that's outrageous. Luffy saw it. Yo, now me crying again. Oh, we got. She's not dead. She's not taken. She's here. <laughs> With Wapo, but Vivi, bro. Wait, you're gonna ignore what happened to Pyth huh? What happened to Pythagoras? Clank? What happened to him? This is an explosion, right? Oh, he exploded. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. We're gonna get back to Vivi in a second. I didn't realize he. I thought he was watching an explosion. I didn't realize he exploded. <laughs> All right. Crazy. That's crazy. Fair. We don't know the context of it. Let me let me get back to Vivi real quick. Cause I don't give a shit about Pythagoras, bro. I don't give a shit about Pythagoras when we got Vivi on the screen. I don't need a note, Princess of Arabas and Nefertari Vivi. Okay, let me just read what's happening. Luffy, Luffy san would never do something like that. The economic journal is such a rat. <laughs> she's she's there. And she's just like, your shit is crap, bro. Get this get this get this fake news out of my face. Hey. Keep your voice down. What if there's a wiretap snail around here? The government will erase us. She actually borrowed my clothes. I'm never washing them again. Ah, these little news apprentices, whatever careers, they they're like simping over Vivi, bro. Same. King of Evil Black Drum Wapo. Bro, you could have just named. Oh, this actually fits. Oh shit, this actually fits one of my future. I complete, no, I didn't forget, but like, oh, that's important. Besides, Morgchan took us in, don't be rude. I mean, calling him Morgchan is kind of, 
kind of sus. Let me just say that. Pretty sure big news Morgans wouldn't be one called Chan, all right? Damn, look at the, look at them. Oda gave us everything, bro. Everything. Um, tick tock for a girl who has who was bawling her eyes out yesterday. Don't I mean her dad probably died, you asshole. What the off the hell? Don't look down on me or tell me how to do my job. My words can shake the world. Besides, news isn't about fact or fiction. It's about entertainment. Yo, Jeff Bezos ass looking dude right here. How information flies. Oh my goodness, bro. Is it a fly chapter or what? Yo, it is. This is this is great. We we are Oh my video my video finished rendering we can upload it now so let me let me do this real quick i'm gonna bring Sai Sai come into the the stream thing i'm gonna bring you on um the other reason while me and Sai are here we're gonna address the super chats we're gonna talk a little bit more we're talking about the chapter obviously i was so engrossed in the chapter that like i didn't even register that pythagoras got assassinated essentially so like this is this is buckle bro bro absolutely crazy the things that are happening right now i can't even i can't even like grasp all of the things that like this is like i started out saying this is a slower chapter but we did get some big updates actually vivi and kuma oh man that is wild. Um, give me one second. One second. We're here. If Sai, if you are listening, join one of the stream rooms. Don't skip the wait. I, I went back and looked at it. We'll we'll look at it again with Sai though. Um, let me pull it up right now though. Let's see, what did I miss? They really totaled the place even though they were born here. Stella. Stella, where the blaze did you get to? Hmm. So he's looking behind him, Clank. So Clank, I'm assuming something explodes. Boom. I think what's in more interesting about all this is that wasn't Vegapunk supposed to be with, wasn't the Stella body supposed to be with Bonnie? But like, he clearly wasn't. He didn't say anything. So then like, he's gone, which we don't know the context of. I still like the idea, idea, the idea that Shiryu was there or something, but, oh, this clink is coming towards there. Oh, clink, clink. There are steps. Someone walked up behind him, hmm, back, and then exploded. Who is it, Mr. Five? Mr. Five, the booger man? The boogeyman? The little boogeyman? No, I'm joking. Is it, is it, who was that guy on Dolph, Doflamingo's crew? Who has explosives? Saturn walking with his cane? No way they're already there. No way it's the Gorosei guy already there. Alright, let's bring Sai in and continue talking talk and talk. Yo. Right, there we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me put you into my headphones. Hello. Talk one more time. Uh hello. Hey, hello, Sai. How are you? All right. I am doing fantastic. How are you, Paul? I'm great. I'm great. Let me turn. Let me transition us into the thing. Um, 
wait, where's the camera? Hello? Hello? Webcam, rando cam, Psy cam. Why is size cam not functioning right now? It's because I don't have my camera on. Wait, I, I do, I do though. Yeah, you do. No, that was a joke. Oh, not that one. There we go. All right, cool. We are good now. Bet. Um, all right, so for those who are new onto the stream, um, this is now we set. Oh, I never, I stopped doing it. We went from the knock up stream where Oda knocks us up with the latest chapter, and we're moving to the Milky Way stream where me and Sai milk our ways to the rest of the. Uh, you know what? We're not even finish that one. Um, we, we, we are a little pressed on time. This chapter is kind of interesting. I'm gonna ask Sai to let me know what he thinks of the chapter, then we're gonna talk about. Um, I was so happy that Kuma was being abused. All right, Sai, I'm going to mute you if you say <laughs> one more thing about uh, Kuma. How about we start Sai, because uh, uh, hi, I missed this, but Sai, if you guys don't know, is a YouTuber who covers spoilers on his channel, um, and Sai doesn't miss, doesn't miss a thing. The only thing he misses are on a lot of his takes, which we disagree on. No, I'm BC just kidding. He is horrible. Take. I hope she was dead and Kuma's here. So it's it was kind of like a no. It was it was mid, you know. All right, so we're just gonna ignore. So one thing you guys have to know about Sai is sometimes you just have to mute the stream. No, I'm joking, but like so, so, you know, the best part about the the Bonnie thing was like she we got a back shot from behind, and you know it was, that's all that mattered. Oh my goodness, Sai! All right, tell me real quick. What was yes. the spoilers like for this one? Because that's something I don't get. I don't. It was I'm not connected with. It was super nice, actually. Huh. So the people who are doing spoilers now that there's only like one or two people now, which is great. Um, uh -huh. they almost put it in a way where each spoiler we got afterwards opened the chapter up more and more. It was like opening up a, a an onion, you know. Hmm. I mean, th that's kind of how spoilers always are. But this week around, like it, you could really see it. Like the the chapter really flourished as the days went by. So it was like it was like eating a meal and reheating it day after day. It just kept on getting better. And you know, if that is how you enjoy reading One Piece, where you get drips and pieces, but then you you know you get a really good meal, then you reheat it for leftovers, and sometimes you have to vomit it out and then retake it in the second time. Um, <laughs> As my mom always says, spaghetti is good the day afterwards. Sure, yeah. So, you know, that that is the thing about the spoilers. So, something I missed, Sai, was yeah, okay. about the uh, the Pythagoras part. What what do you think Yeah, about dude's that? dead, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got effed up, bro. <laughs> yeah, he he's dead, but, like, do you think that, like, this has something to do with the whole, um... What's it called? The whole, um... What was I gonna say? The the traitor of egghead. Yeah, yeah, the traitor of egghead thing. I mean, yeah, there, there's definitely a traitor here. I, I I can I can feel it now. You don't think it might be like the thing is? It's like I someone said oh, okay, it was yeah, the go Gorosei too. Like that's technically an option. The clink clank could be that, but the clink clank could also just be the boots, right? Like that the the dom. I shoes. think it's the boots, but he, he's there's so many things. Like as I did like a deep dive into this chapter. Like, it could be one of the Vegapunks. That makes a lot of sense. It could still be a third party. And I I'm treating this like a murder mystery game. And it it's enough. hard to, to bring this down to, like, a singular Vegapunk. The one that's missing in this chapter is Lilith. So Lilith could be an option. She's the only one we don't see. But at the same time, it's like Lilith wasn't present. Or she was present when Vegapunk went missing. So if she's the one who killed Pythagoras... She's not the one who kidnapped Vegapunk then. Right. So like it's 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 such a weird thing to think about. Like maybe she has a robot on the side helping her. Maybe there's like, you know, automatas on the side who are doing their own agenda. Like the there's a lot of weird things with this. And then the clink clank is distinctive too. Because Lilith specifically has used the Dom shoes in a way where she always she almost always flies, right? Mm. Like last chapter she was flying, so she made no noise. And even when she was walking with the other straw hats, she never made a clink clank noise. 
So could this just be specific to that room? Could she just, you know, be walking really heavily this time? There's a lot of, like, weird things with this. I wonder. Oh, yeah, so, like, oh, right here. Right here, there's onomatopoeia next to uh, Pythagoras on right above the that panel. Does someone in the chat, Ryro, what does that, is that clink clank right there? Is are, is this also clink clank? Because if that is, then you could say they are Dom shoes. But if we're not getting onomatopoeia from Pythagoras walking around, then I would imagine that this would be something different. And that that's an interesting discrepancy that, that you pointed out there. Um, I love Among Us, so this chapter really hit. I'm not going to lie. Oh, like, because the murder mystery thing? Who's Yeah, I, who's, I love this. Who's Among Us? Who's and uh, in my in my video later, I made a reference to that Oda kind of played it well because we had a chapter a couple, like, day, like weeks ago called The Six Faces of Vegapunk. Yeah. And uh, that's actually a murder mystery in Japan, too. Oh. It's a, it's a detective. So there, there's a couple of things with that. Um, I think that's a big reference to a major incident in Japan called The Monster with 21 Faces. Mm -hmm. And there's also a manga called The Fiend with 21 Faces that's based off of the real life events of the monster. So gotcha. I thought that was a pretty cool like reference. That is really cool, actually. Wait, Bill so... never caught the guy, though. So uh, he, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe this is a mystery in One Piece we'll never learn. So that like, could be a thing. what are the odds, do you think? Because one thing that stuck out to me in quick succession after realizing I missed it was that Vegapunk isn't with Bonnie and Bonnie is like yeah. struggling uh with the the thing so it's like where's if vegapunk disappeared do you think it's a third party like we were originally thinking it was shiryu and lafitte they turned vegapunk invisible and are kidnapping him but then we found out that you can't enter the labo phase without like the thing but so that would mean that they would have to be the ones that took out, took down the system and they took out vegapunk in a way that the observation like luffy's observation arc would miss vegapunk shaka would miss them um so there's a lot of differences there where it's like i it's this is confusing uh, yeah um i still think the shiryu is plausible like if you can twist a couple things you can definitely say shiryu is plausible because uh vegapunk mentions that or i, I guess shaka mentions that a lot of the snails lost consciousness you know they're they're out and whatever and that's exactly what shiryu did in impel down too mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Like should you the first thing he did after he like was released from his cell he went around disabling monitors and snail cameras so like this is kind of his playbook um but because like you said you need knowledge of egghead you need to turn down the frontier dome you need to turn it back on you have to know where the snails are even at they're like there's so much that you'd have to know that I feel like it would more than likely be a Vegapunk doing this but maybe it's two Vegapunks I, I think just narrowing down the trader to one is kind of hard. So I think having two traders is the more logical answer if there's a Vegapunk trader, in my opinion. So so what's interesting is like Lilith also demonstrated compassion for Edison. And the thing about Edison yeah. was Edison turned off, was the one who commanded the Seraphims to protect everything, which would fit the ulterior motive that I laid out when we were talking about uh, traitors. I think you asked me the first time, and I didn't even know that people were thinking about traitors. I was saying Edison could make sense because he would be protective over his inventions, and that might give him a different perspective. Um, but And that would fall in line of why he protected the egghead thing. But someone shared with me an interesting logic line, and we talked about it it paralleled something that we talked about which was that um which was that uh what's it called the uh vegapunk's dream is the same dream as tesla and the thing about yeah edison and tesla edison and tesla had beef and uh edison uh, edison ran a uh propaganda campaign essentially with a funder against tesla and made tesla seem like a crazy person so I was, and that person was basically saying maybe Edison is the the traitor because of the real life lore between Tesla and Edison, and that was interesting to me. And like I I don't even know, but then again, like Edison doesn't even fit here too. Edison's walking around like a mass murderer, like that's crazy too. <laughs> like, but did was Edison shown in this chapter earlier? He he was. He was. Yeah. He was with that. He's in. He's right? in the spread. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy. It's so if I'm going to go with the traitor right off the bat, minus the Blackbeard thing, and I had to pick from the Vegapunks, I'd pick Edison and Lilith. I think it's a duo. 
Edison and Lilith? Yeah. Oh, Edison and Oh, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, your stream ended. Oh, stream ended. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I think it's back? I can't tell. Wait. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, it's back. It's back. It's back. It ended for like a re, like a, a short second. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me clear out of this then. But yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a tag team. I think it's two people probably doing it if it is the Vegapunks. Mm. You know how like Edison, when we first met him, like he ran off and he was like, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if the idea was killing Vegapunk? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, it's and, it's uh, weird because like yeah. there's like I, like you're saying it is like a murder mystery, right? Like, like how is what what is Oda's play here with this? Like, does does he the, the other thing that I, I I'm curious about is like is it in like are we you know sometimes we have to take a step back because like you know Oda obviously writes this for the general masses and we aren't the general masses we're the nitty gritty scrutinizing every panel word picture Stussy's butt like every single uh, nook and cranny of, of the chapter and I wonder if like that right now is preface like like putting a lens over how we're viewing this in the sense of like are we supposed to be thinking that the there's a traitor or, or is are we just thinking too hard you know sometimes i do like yeah. take a step back and think like are we thinking too hard about this and, and like, like a punk is just using the bathroom <laughs> yeah but but then at the same time like it seems like it's intentional it definitely does but but then like is it the just the gorosei guy like i don't know like it is i mean the, there's no way the gorosei guy would be here right that's and what Kizaru i was isn't. thinking but like wait or do people actually think it's a gorosei someone in my chat brought it up was like what if this is just the gorosei and i was like huh maybe like that's interesting <laughs> he just slaps his you know walking stick down and then explosions happen like all around the world that'd be kind of crazy yeah, but like, and then a walking stick wouldn't make, make a. He wouldn't make a clink clank though, right? Like a walking stick makes a clank. Oh, like I don't even know how he'd be up here. Like I mean, the frontier <laughs> dome's open. Not even Sentomaru can get up here, right? True, but and the only way to our knowledge to get here, minus you know Kizaru probably teleporting, is the space shuttle. Technically, though, he, he you know he is Saturn. Who, who knows what Saturn can do, right? Like maybe Saturn yeah. has a way with things. I don't know. Um Par your video is lagging, but the audio is fine. Okay, the the video lagging should end in one second, but uh, I was just setting up the video to play afterwards. Um, redirect one thing. There we go. There we go. All right, it should it should stop now. Now all of the lag should be done. Should be done. Should be. Done. I apologize for that, but the audio is still being there is great. Uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, this one's a weird one. I'm going to have to, like, I think, I really like that you said it was a murder mystery because my one of my favorite series is Detective Conan. Like, I still read and watch that, like, even though it's a kid's show. Um, and all the movies, I still watch that. And, like, I am honestly now going to, because because we do know that Oda is, like, best friends with the guy who, who I Aoyama yep. or whatever. They, uh, we, we had, like, a, I think it was a, cover with like luffy and detective conan like i think last year yeah yeah they i think before film red they sat down and did an interview together or something yeah and, um, and boom here we have it yeah like like it's almost like ayama was like i i hope correct me if i'm wrong chat if i'm saying that name wrong but um it's almost like that like ayama's here right now and he's writing this part right now and that would be sick because he if when he if he writes I don't even know if he writes all of the mystery parts, but when if if he's cooking like that in Detective Conan mysteries, I would be hyped. Now, the thing is, there's not so much because they were this was never like the central part of the story. So we have to look at like the actual behind the scenes to see what is happening here. If we can even figure out, maybe Oda didn't even give us enough clues. Maybe we'll get an another clue in the next chapter. Um, we can't even say for certain, honestly. But I think, oh, no, no what are you going to say? No, what are you going to say? Oh, like people are saying that like the the person who's doing this is Caribou, which I could see too, but I, I just feel like destroying cameras, uh, turning on and off the Frontier Dome, 
knowing which Vegapunk is the right one, like, that's all above his head, in a way. Because he's only met Lilith, to our knowledge. Unless he's just, like, in the background listening to, you know, every conversation. He wouldn't really know, like, which Vegapunk to go after. Which is, like, kind of where I'm hung up on. And even the explosion. Why would he, like, explode a building when he could just, like, use his Devil Fruit? Yeah, yeah. So J JP Legend said a funny thing, too. Which is, like, you know how, like, Oda silhouettes a lot of things in One Piece? And, like, yeah. and, like that's a tactic he uses in the manga and stuff. Um, in In Detective Conan... And that's the bread and butter every episode there's a silhouette character because you they show you who the villain is but they silhouette them so jp legend said that explains why there's so many shadowy figures in egghead and like even the den den mushi was shadowed <laughs> like i i was like no no, no Oda, you had a shadow you had a oh my god cover the i just looked up detective cone on it yeah the person's actually just shaded out yeah this is the silhouette every single time and it's the same body, every, whether girl, guy, doesn't matter. It's the same silhouette. It's crazy. Sometimes they have like a, it looks like they have like bags on or a beanie or something to distinguish them, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty it's funny. Yeah, it's a fun part of it too, especially when it's like, especially when the dude clearly, the person clearly would not look like the silhouette. You know, because they just use a, like a, a normal average looking person. But then sometimes the person is like a kid or like an older person like, it's hunched over or a bigger set person, like a wrestler or something. And then and then you're like, wait, this couldn't be the silhouette. You couldn't fit in this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me let me get to some of the um, the super chats um i'm assuming the uh, one last check guys the audio is fine the video might be lagging here and there and that's pretty much due to my adobe thing being open at the moment i'm pretty sure uh let's save changes don't be too strong dude yeah Adobe's i understand too strong yeah um so it should now it should be good now it should be crystal clear um right now Emoji said you missed the entire stream. Hey, listen, this is the this is the Milky Way is the best part of the the, uh, the stream. I'm not gonna lie, um, but let's get through some of these super chats. And with the super chats, we will probably be looking um, back at the chapter one last time before we end, which would be around like three three ten, so that me and Sai could record, uh, or or three thirty ish, so that me and Sai could record our uh, full episode that goes up on his channel. Um, so, Mr. Bushido, I already read this one. Don't screw with me, part. And that was a bit... Sai, did you see that carrot is actually on I Egghead? I saw. It's not carrot. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that's not That's not carrot. Don't don't play with me. <laughs> carrot. Where's Worst Santa character. Done. Santa Mario. Get her out of here. On the ground, and I saw that, and I was like, <gasps> Oda's trolling Mr. Bushido specifically <laughs> with this carrot base right now. Um, see... We have so many interesting designs of like citizens of Egghead that we just haven't met yet. I wonder if they'll ever come into play. Cause like the one thing I am like the most like focused on when it comes to like that panel of Centumaru being healed or whatever are the small people. Like what are they? Automatas, you mean? Those ones? Yeah. Yeah. Like we, we assume it's automatas, but we don't know for certain because they're always like silhouetted or they're in the background. Yeah. 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 So I wonder if he'll ever like bring in that tie. I mean, we have a dude with a boombox for a head, so they could just be robots, to be honest. Yeah, and then there's like a dude with that looks like a washing machine. So fair enough. Oh, someone's people are saying carrot clone. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, if you want carrot that badly and you want to accept carrot clone, that's on you. You know what? Carrot clone for Nakama. We don't need it. Oh, we don't need no. anybody else. Oh no! Just and give then, us the carrot clone. Real quick, uh, honestly, caribou is the most obvious answer, Pablo. The thing about ca caribou is we never got the clink clank from caribou. He it more he's more of a slip slime slippery, like a slurpy dude. You know, he's a slurp. He slurps. He's slurps. very slurpy. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I don't know. Zemore. Oh, welcome Zemore. Um. With the 15 bits, let me drop a couple. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by on the Twitch chat. Um, I'm pretty sure I responded to your email, by the way. Uh, uh, Tyler, the nerdy bassist. Welcome. That's a new name. I like, I like it. that. F $5. Shaka's giving off either kind of dumb or kind of sus vibes to me. Tyler, I don't know if you're still in the chat. Expand on that. And mods, if you see him. Can you highlight his thing for me? Hunt him down. Hunt him down, yes. Hunt Shaka's... him down. He's coming too close to the truth. 
giving off either kind of dumb or kind of sus vibes. Oh, that's, that's... Kind of, I've never seen that. You got a super chat on YouTube, but it's a it's an emote of glasses. Oh, a super sticker. Aim PDX with the oh, it's a sticker. 45 mer. I don't know what mer is, but I'm going to assume it's enough for these glasses, bro. Look at all those glasses he paid for. Thank you. I appreciate that. There's no message on there, but I'm going to I'm going to extrapolate the glasses. I'm going to extrapolate a message from this super chat. I'm thinking he's saying that the person who is here is S Flamingo, the guy with the glasses. Because if you were you to know, clone Do Flamingo, it could, it could be. If you were to clone Do Flamingo, the glasses would come with it, right? I'm just joking, but like the clink clank, like I I don't know if we're gonna get as I feel like I feel like the seraphims that we got now are the only ones. There's no way there's more because we got the discrep not the discrepancy, the the limit of money, right? Like he couldn't make more because he was tied by money, right? Like I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Though. He makes a doflamingo seraphim to sell it to the celestials. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, going back to Tyler's thing, five dollar super chat said, uh, Shaka's kind of dumb or sus. I'm I'm kind of like shaka's been by the monitors at the po at the point where they were like they were like oh um you know we lost vega punk on the monitors that's like open door of he's the the traitor right because he's like oh we don't see vega punk see and he just go he like you know like when you're at work and you're looking at weird shit and you just go you click out your incognito real quick that's like what shaka's doing he's like oh don't look at this screen like but then later on when pythagoras gets nuked right like gets assassinated it's like that couldn't be shaka right because he's with everybody so it's like it's weird it's weird if he if he can like remote control bodies i feel like it would happen but it's it's just hard because like not just like the part where pythagoras gets blown up but even when vegapunk goes missing shaka's still just chilling there bro like even when Bonnie's shot out of the memory bubble, like he's not there anymore. And it's like, well, Shaka's been with us the entire time. You think though he would be more worried, right? Like, like I think that's what Tyler might be getting at, and I, I don't see his chat yet. But you like you Stell uh, no 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 Stelly. Stussy. Stussy was saying was said, what'd she say? She said, I'll look around, I'm worried. Like Shaka doesn't seem all that worried. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of weird. He does say that they need to, like, prioritize, uh, you know, finding the body, though. True. That's I mean, true. He, he is logic. So there could just be a chance that he's, like, a lot calmer. Mm. But kind of like um, Pythagoras is the one that's, like, the worry wart. And whenever we see him, he's always, like, sweating a little bit. Fair. That's true. Like, they're, that's all, true. Like, they're all, like, really quirky in their own mm. right. They're, they're very anime. Lilith. We haven't seen Lilith. We haven't seen uh we haven't seen edison's reactions interesting like edison would be like i have an invention that would find you like you, they don't have tracking chips they don't have a mechanical viva card like what are we talking about being worried is illogical amen zaki yeah like if if shock was like shaking in his boots like it wouldn't really change the situation like they're just gonna, they just got to find him you know yeah it's i it's... believe <sighs> man yeah, like I don't know. I feel like I feel like you know, like iPhones have find my friend or find my iPhone or whatever. Like even Snapchat has that. You're telling me Vegapunk doesn't have find my my Stella, find my satellite. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised they don't have like some like log pose that automatically points to like another body. Yeah, that was kind of surprising. Well, and you guys heard it here, guys. If I were cannot cannot can can cannot canonically. <laughs> canonically inserted in the story as a vega punk i would be power skilled higher than vega punk himself um wants this... there be no traitor at all yeah that would be interesting too that would be but interesting I, but then that would imply but, third I mean, party yeah that would imply third party which i'm all about because i like the blackbeard theory and i feel like that's still plausible but like you're but, saying uh, like we'll in order to be this familiar you need with knowledge bro circumstance yeah yeah you need like you need knowledge of like this island which is not something anybody has, which is why I first thought it was Stussy, right? Because, like, the Frontier Dome turning on and off, like, I don't know, maybe Shiryu got blueprints somewhere, but I feel like it just makes sense that it's, like, a Vegapunk or one of his close allies that's doing it. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. What's up? <laughs> okay, okay, so you know how there's a theory right now, like, that Blackbeard is a clone? Yeah. 
So, like, Stussy is knowledgeable about the thing, and we know that she's the first successful clone. And a lot of people think that Blackbeard was an unsuccessful clone or a, a, or a clone of some right. But that would mean that he would be aware of Egghead, too, and Vegapunk as well, because Stussy, you know, and all the clones would be aware, just like how Bakken's Bakken's was aware of, uh, of, of Egghead, too. So, like, it would make sense that the clones would also be aware. So, like, Blackbeard could makes sense if if he were actually a clone but then but then i was like but he we've never seen him clink and clink and then my mind went to the best option do you know on side do you know where i'm going with this no it's, no it's no, one of our that? favorite theory babies <laughs> are you gonna clink, say uh clink clank i don't know what else does a clink or clank but a horse? horse oh, oh my god <laughs> it's imagine stronger yeah, it's stronger he sits behind that'd be funny <laughs> clink clank oh he just he flies up here yo that'd be crazy if it's just a horse wait wait no no, no. horses make a plop sound right like uh, they they make a, a plop yeah, they no not a plop i went you know, on yeah, metal. No, no, no. Horses, horses pop. Wait, wait, wait. No, no wait, on wait, metal. Wait. On metal, I would imagine it's a clink clank. I would imagine it's a clink clank. Desna says it's an explosive apple. The 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 apple is a grenade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the the more we look into it, the more it points the stronger. <laughs> stronger the exploding through duck? apple. Oh my goodness! Wait, hold on, <laughs> guys, 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 guys! Don't, don't boost up this one. All right, like I love, I love you guys, and I love the thoughts I have, and I love making videos and ideas. But this is, I'm not gonna double down. They're, like, they're gaslighting us. The person they're, they're gonna find more and more connections to horses and Vegapunk. The person behind Pythagoras is that would be. Like, think about it, guys. Think about how epic that reveal would be. Like, out from the shadows is a horse's fucking face. Yeah, let's, let's take it a step further. Somebody said Frankie Centaur. <laughs> oh, it's Centaur boat Frankie. He's the real traitor. Yeah, Frankie's mad about Senior Pink's food, and he's taking them out yeah. one by one for his he, Yeah, no. We see Frankie's, like, red eyes, and he's like, I don't believe you when you said Senior Pink's okay. <laughs> Yo... Oh my good. One way or another, it being a horse is kind of crazy right now. <laughs> clink, clank, it. <laughs> so, with the way the chapters are going, I yeah. really hope we get to see the traitor or whoever's doing this next chapter. Yeah, I mean, it, the speed that we're going at, like. It, it's fast, bro. Yeah, yeah, because. Like, we had the whole mystery with, like, Stussy for a minute, and then boom, here's, like, big revelations on Stussy the next chapter. Yeah, and like feel it. you know, Cookie Ninja says Shiri is stealth in and turn off the dome. I I we I like that. I feel like regardless of the traitor, I think Shiryu being here makes sense. If this were Blackbeard, the way it was done in this chapter, I feel like is way different than like last chapter. Me and Sai were both like, yeah, like he probably took Vega Punk, right? But this chapter, it definitely feels like there's someone behind them, and the way these chapters are going, it's like. It's like there's not Oda doesn't even care about suspense anymore because this is this is the suspense. Like like some some mask marauder is out here murdering satellites. Like that's crazy. And we have to sit on this for an entire week. And now if you hated like the oh, there's this the traitor among the the Vegapunks, now you're gonna you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Oh, he's tap dancing Lafitte. The click clank could be his tap shoes. They Very could, true. it could. So my votes and, on uh, Shiryu and Lafitte. Oh, Lafitte can fly, but Shiryu, Lafitte, and Stronger, all three. That'd be kind of wild. I'm gonna go with the Shiryu and Lafitte combo. The thing is, I, it I like has the Shiryu Lafitte combo. Stronger has to be there. You know why? Why? Because if Rox is stronger, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be Rox anymore. It can be Rox's clone is stronger. The, oh my the gosh! It's just be... evolving. <laughs> It could be even more convoluted, but um, yeah. Let let's hop off of that real quick. And uh, Mr. Bushido Two Euro says, "Can't wait for Part to react to the end, bro." VV showing up was crazy. VV showing up. I'm I'm assuming we're gonna get back to that in a little bit. But Mr. Bushido, another super chat says, "There goes my theory that Stussy is Sora's sister." Wait, why does it? Why is? 
Does this chapter negate? The, oh, because Sanji. Because simping. Sanji's there. Yeah. No, but if it's San, if it's Sanji, if it's Sora's sister, that would still it would still be okay because then. Because you you could simp for your aunt. That's not like the weirdest thing. We I simp for my cousin for a minute. And if you want to learn more about that, make sure to find Sai on his Twitch. He's <laughs> just no comment. <laughs> We had a full conversation. I was trying to, I was trying to help because I, I think you got. There was raided. a solid week where I did nothing but hit on my cousin, and I was like, "Man, like, what was I doing?" You got, but I was, the, I was a kid. I was a kid. You got it's, it's raided not like recent, right? by like some. Oh, I was, I wasn't an adult at that time. But. You got raided by like a random streamer, uh, like a, a verified streamer, and then that was your introduction to all of their viewers. Like, yeah, my cousin. I was like, oh no, son. oh god. <laughs> uh mr shido with two years says kumo was a celestial dragon slave yeah that is um i don't know the thing with kuma being a slave bro, though like he, he's out and about though like do they let slaves go like on pe and shit you know i mean fisher tiger escaped i and mean then yeah he but that's fisher back. tiger well, and then you have you, you have like three kuma? Because we have three slaves out here, like chilling in a grassy field. If I was a celestial dragon, they would not be outside, bro. But the thing, okay, so what we have to understand too is that each slave master. Have you watched Vinland Saga? Yeah. So like season two, yeah. season two, no spoilers, but like you, you get the context. Some slave masters work them to the bone. Some of them give them farms. Yeah. Some of them give them autonomy. Celestial so dragons, some just take mermaids and have a fish tank. And some work them and travel with them. Some might procreate with them. We don't know. And and so like it, it, there's nuance you, to the thing. Do you think they're in Marie Joie then? How old is Kuma? Yo, how old is Kuma? Kuma Wiki, no way. He's young, bro. He's probably like two, year, five years old or something. No, no, no. Like, how old is he? Forty. What if this is God Valley? He's forty-seven after time skip. So this could be oh. seven-year-old Kuma, and that could be In God God's Valley. Valley. Oh my goodness! That could be a thing. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> I like how you got you. <laughs> So I got up to uh, with this cat, and this cat just jumped up and sprinted. He's like, "Don't touch me!" He was attacking the other cat. Oh. <laughs> Wait, this is kind of crazy, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, like the building we see in the background during the flashback, like we don't know any architecture like that. True. Like that doesn't fit Marie Joie, so it's it's got to be either Sorbet Kingdom, which is a place we've never been to yet, or it could be God's Valley. I think that's a pretty good option too. I like that yeah sorbet kingdom i'm gonna uh, i think we did see sorbet kingdom from afar right did we? i think there no picture <gasps> no yeah, we've never available. seen sorbet kingdom oh my god maybe that's why because oda was saving it for kuma's flashback so this could be sorbet kingdom god valley is a, a in my you're talking about celestial dragons you're talking about kids you're talking about pre god valley time i see i see it fitting I see it fitting. Um, uh, and, One thing's for certain, though. I really hope Kuma goes back to his masters. They, they, they miss him. What if this is actually a really, like, touching story and, like, Kuma and the Celestial Dragons get along really well? Yes, that is... And the, then, like, that he is... climbs the red line and he's just he just wants to go back to his master. So, so that's also a possibility. So I'm zooming in, guys, for you guys to see the touching story that Sai is alluding to. The the very the miss the thing that we are misunderstanding here is that Kuma, Kuma loved loved his He's, situation there. Yeah, he he loved he loved it. This the panel I zoomed in on screams love. Right, guys. Right, guys. On the outside looking in, it looks a little bit you know it looks bad, but. If you close your eyes, you can hear Kuma singing for joy. I see some people in the chat saying, if this is God Valley, what's the chances that Kuma is Rox's son? That would be wild. If That could be a reason why he was a, you know, a tyrant and, or quote unquote, a tyrant and uh, hunted by the world government. Yeah, that's... It could, it could kind of fit. 
Huh. Huh. I love how, like, there's so much about One Piece we don't know. So, like, technically, like, anything can fit if we wanted to, just because we we have so little information about the world right now. Yeah. And, like, it's this kinda is... It's kind of dope. Like, the, it's rough because I'd want to make a theory, I want to make a video, but, like, like you're saying, like, there's so little that unless, like, you... Like, I say this in my, the video that being uploaded right now, um, that, uh, let's see, uh... Oh, wait. I have it premiering at 3... Let me push it to 330. Um, that like, you know, we're getting to a point where it's like, yes, we're getting more answers than not. But we also like, we also like have to be aware that like right now, Oda's just starting it. And so we're going to have to start reaching to some headcanons for a lot of this. Like, like even the Saint Saturn thing, like that opened up a, a lot of doors and those doors don't exactly loop back to the current story. Right, like, yeah, like Anel went to the moon, but like, his name is Saint Saturn. We we barely understand like what what that's supposed to be referencing right now. Um, we didn't even uh, we didn't even see him in this chapter too. Yeah, we didn't even see them in this chapter. Um, so what is Kuma's race? What is Kuma's race? Yeah, K Kuma's race is another one of those things where it's like, like you know. Um, is that something we know of already or is it going to be something new is are the socio dragons their own race like ah oh man it's so crazy but like i think if this is god valley that would be crazy because the other thing that's very interesting about this is that it seems like these people they also are silhouetted right like the people who are beating down on kuma are not celestial dragons but they are kind of they're they are holding down something get your ass back now if you escape they'll kill the rest of us so are they also slaves or are they like people like you know like kaido like kaido um yeah didn't want to be a marine navy pawn but like he was strong enough to in enforce himself and, and wicked enough to enforce his own will um but like if the country forced him to be there uh and forced him to um to abide by the laws like would they they would be on his ass right like that in the same way like, this yeah. could be sorbet this could be sorbet kingdom <laughs> citizens here but then why silhouette them silhouetting them is also interesting right because like oda does do this when he silhouettes like monsters like like uh baby five's mom silhouetted i'm pretty sure because she was like so abysmally t toxic that like she was she like baby five the reason why she doesn't value her life is because of mom and she got silhouetted in the way of like her eyes were crazy and she was like this monstrous looking shadow it, it, that reminds me of this right now where it's like this is a person and the thing is like if there were celestial dragons they would have the haircut right like they they would have the same celestial dragon haircut so it it is kind of interesting now i think about it but um Let's, uh... Yeah, it, it could just be like regular people too. And one thing interesting when you see the celestial dragon is that the person behind him doesn't have the haircut. True, true. So there's like, it looks like he's maybe working with the citizens. I have no clue. That is fair. Man, this, this is why it's like people think. So I want to give you guys a quick, quick side story. Um, I mean, it's not a side story, but I've been posting shorts on my on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And some of, I always put spoiler, um, spoiler warnings before I talk about current manga stuff or anything that relates to current manga stuff or anything I thought of because of current manga stuff. But that being said, I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of things that I can't post on my main channel in a long video form because when I post because they're video, rated R. No, not because, well, yes, because they're rated R. Rated R for really good ideas. But I can't post them on my main channel because they won't get a lot of the traction because they're not current, they're not meta, whatever. Um, which I imagine like when I get to like 50k subs or whatever, then it will matter a lot less. But that being said, I post a lot of content now about like past stuff that you, even anime onlys can can understand. And what I've grasped now, because a lot of anime onlys are now viewing my content there, is that they always, like, I think 90% of the time when someone says you're reaching, it's anime only. And that's crazy to me because like I was said some base level thing that Mihawk had crazy observation hockey. 
every single time I was just like, is, are you like anime only? And like, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah. And like, I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. Or not Mihawk. It wasn't the Mihawk thing. The, the Kabotterman one, Kabotterman one. I asked them if they're anime only and they're like, most of the time it was, but the manga people are like, yeah, this could make sense. I'm like, that's crazy. Cause I didn't put any information in it's there. It's because the people who watch the anime can't read par. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um, oh, did my, my video didn't just premiere. I changed it. I definitely changed it. Right. Premiering it's three thirty. It should it should be three thirty. Um. Uh. Yeah, I moved it three thirty. The stream will end at three thirty, and then we'll go straight into the to to the uh thing. The voice call. Um. Yeah. But uh, what was I gonna say? Um. But yeah. So like like this this chapter right here with how much thoughts we're having. Like the thing is, the anime onlys are gonna get here. And they're going to get so much more context because it's not going to just be these panels. You know this is going to be like an episode. This is going to be an entire episode on its, it's gonna own. Be, it's going to be three episodes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be three episodes. <laughs> and like They're not going to hold back on this one. And what's crazy is like, do you remember uh, Do you remember when, to, to, well, now we know it's Hiyori. When Hiyori showed up on, on Onigashima and she was silhouetted, um, like in the thing and whatever. In the anime, she wasn't silhouetted. You could clearly Wait, really? she she was silhouetted, oh my God. but the, there was still the coloring. Like you could tell that it was like there, there was like no no room to be like yeah that's not that's not Hiyori. that's a hundred percent Hiyori. <laughs> like oh my gosh yeah they got lucky with that one dude I remember that and we were all memeing like yo like who could this be we, nobody really knows it could be Hiyori. it could be somebody else but it also kind of looked like a Nell because of the earlobe thing yeah it yeah. could be hair I was like oh god. The yeah. anime people have it good. That's all I gotta say. They they got it real good. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting. So it'll. I want to see so this funny. animated because like I want to know how much we're getting from. Watch uh, when Pythagoras is killed. You actually see the fee in the whole person. <laughs> <laughs> they actually just draw him in. <laughs> they just put the the Gorose guy in there. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's like a character we've it's like Gaimon, a character we haven't seen <laughs> yeah, in a long time. The clink clanking is the treasure chest clapping over. Yeah. As he walks. Oh my goodness. And then he's like he's like, I found the real treasure I was looking for. It was murdering innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was the thrill of the hunt. Vegapunk's the reason why I'm in this chest. I didn't wish for this a dream for this. How dare he say that? Yeah. I looked at the bottom of the, the treasure chest and it said belongs to Vegapunk and <laughs> I knew who I had to kill. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, let me get this some more of these super chats. It says anime dimension with two members, two months, me two members, two month membership. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. It says I'm happy that Vivi is safe. All left is Sabo and Law. If they are safe, then I can stop worrying about them and be excited for the coming chapters. So you're telling me Oda's holding your excitement hostage because these characters are in the in limbo right now. But fair, fair. When I saw Vivi, I did shed a tear. I was like, yo, I'm so happy because Three Volt came onto my stream the other, uh, and, and you know we had the Road to Laugh Tales Supernova Clash. Um, and, and he presented the idea that Vivi could just be gone, deaded. Um, though that wasn't the full context of what he was saying. It was like, that was, that was an extension of it. And I'm like, yeah, that would have been the best timeline. No, no, no. But like, yeah, law Sabo, I think we were fine. He's alive. Law, law is alive. Law is alive, guys. Impel down 2.0. It wouldn't be the same without law. Think about it. Think about it. You know, like how much easier it'll be for all of them to escape and pull down when Law is at level six and then he just rooms everybody to the surface, right? So much easier. Impel down 2.0 can be done in a cover story in that way. Remember, Luffy had to run through every single floor. Law doesn't have to do that. So, um, you know, we're chilling on that front. We got JP Legend. Oh my God, he's not just a Seraphim of J. He's the European Seraphim of J. 20 euros. Thank you for that, JP. Said, do you think the first Nevertari was a friend of Joy Boy and joined the other 19 so they could help the future Joy Boy? That's the reason why they didn't join them in Marijua. And that's why Eam now is trying to kill them. JP Legend, let me just tell you, there is a video with not your name on it, but you will love in 30 minutes. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> because... I think you might be correct. I think you might be correct. 
Um, Matthew Lane with the five dollar super chat says, "What if it's Bluno using a rocket launcher to kill all the Vega Punks?" Bluno, what is your thoughts on Bluno, Mister no. CP Zero Retcon CP Zero Agent himself? Um, I I think Bluno is a good a good choice, but the one hang up I have with Bluno is the fact that Oda didn't want him to be CP Zero originally, and that was around the time like Film Red was premiering. Like, he came out and he was like, yeah, I didn't really have any plans for Bluno to be ZP0, but the Film Red director, like, brought it to my attention and he convinced me. So, it, it kind of, like, puts Bluno in limbo. It's like, yeah, he could work, but is he still CP0 canon for Oda, though? Yeah. That, that's kind of the hard part. Yeah. And uh, since this is the arc right after Wano and Film Red, it's like, if he already had the trader planned out, then it can't be Bluno. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I like the the options again. I think the greatest limiting factor for who is killing Pythagoras in this chapter is what Sai said in that you have whoever it is has to be familiar with this place. You can't just like being an assassin's one thing, right? But like assassins do their research. Think about CP9 on, at Water 7. They spent five years there, guys. <laughs> like, you know, they didn't they didn't just roll so up and long. know everything. And they did still they spent five years in there and still didn't know about Frankie really. Still didn't know about where the blueprints were. They they were they got fed up of waiting and just, just started beating people up for the blueprints, right? Like so so in that regard, like, you know, I like it being CP0 is so weird to me because even Stussy is like, I'm going to go look for him, right? Like, she Oh, yeah, wouldn't... Stussy would know. Yeah, if it was Spandam or Baluno, then Stussy would know. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like, Stussy one would dumb. know that. But then also, like, Stussy would also, like, she, she would be able to, she would, like, be in all the places already, right? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's yeah. weird. It's weird. It's weird to me that it, it's not... It's, it's weird to me that it wouldn't be someone that we know that is connected to Egghead already. Because the alternative is Oda makes another connection to Egghead outside of the cast that we have right now. Which is so odd. Because we already have... Stussy was like the newest addition to that, right? And that one yeah. was like... That one was so convoluted. In a good way, it was still so convoluted. I like. I guess the other option is... No, no, no. The, Stussy was the person that they called. No, there's, there's not that many options. Smoker. <laughs> Like, yeah, like maybe it's sword, maybe it's G14 rolling up and they're just like, Vega G14 in. just made it here really quick. Yeah, they're, they're like, how dare you not help us save Kobe? We must murder all of you guys. Like, this is how it feels to get one of your comrades murdered. <laughs> like, that would be so crazy, though. Um, Could Smoker come in and save the day? We don't know where Smoker is. Um, Smoker ain't saving so anybody. So Tashigi, Tashigi is here because she wanted to get treatment for the kids. Smoker went off and still did his G5 stuff, right? So that's why he's not present currently. Well, they're not on Egghead. Oh, but... yeah. Well, they're at, they're at like, like G15, which yeah. is like nearby Egghead. Yeah, yeah. But Smoker doesn't... I mean, him and Tashigi parted ways on uh, Punk Hazard. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, actually. So who knows where Smoker is right now? Yeah, it's weird. Um, JP Legend with the five years says spoilers are the Poneglyphs and the chapter is the One Piece. I, I feel like that, that. That was so deep. That was so deep and like so surface level. That might be a sophisticated. Quote. Yeah, that might be a quote at the beginning of one of my videos now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Aim PDX with the again with the fifty or forty five mer. Thank you. Uh, Zeus eight five four six. Oh my god, that was almost like. A phone number. Uh, yeah, I was like, I thought you were reading off a phone number right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Five dollars says, "Did you know Momonosuke is on the cover for Chapter Thirty Two? <laughs> I mean, like that was that was such a random. <laughs> I feel like. Are you talking about the 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 the, the, the like pinkish dragon that mm -hmm. uh, Oda drew a long time ago? Oh, oh, it, it, it's yeah, similar. That's it this is. isn't the one. This isn't the one that everyone references because the one everyone references is, is like the Wano one. But this is, this is yeah. That that's definitely Momo. Fair. I I didn't reference this one. I knew he did it in cover stories prior. But uh, you know what's actually crazy about this is the trident, huh? Because you could say. 
Oh my! Wait, wait, wait. What if the? Okay, okay. Hear me out, guys. Uranus, Poseidon, your uh, not Uranus, Poseidon, Pluton, something like that. Pluton, something like that. Maybe Odo is linking things up. I don't know. Um, but let's see. Thank you for the super chat, Zeus. Mr. Rubik's with a six months membership. Thank you. It says Shaka has been sus since he told Dragon he's doomed. Oh yeah, that's a whole another. Imagine it's Dragon. Imagine Dragon's like, yeah, you are <laughs> gonna die, and it's because of me. By my hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the one gonna put. That's gonna put you down. How'd you know? Yeah, like he's telling Shaka, don't say it because I'm gonna have to make it happen. <laughs> like he's just like, that'd be crazy if that was the the way that went down. Oh my goodness. That's another whole thing about this. Why? We still don't know yet. Like, is Shaka saying that he thinks he's going to die because of CP0 invading? Or is it that Shaka knew that Saint Saturn was on his way and Saint Saturn was going to wring Shaka's neck? And, and like, but then why wouldn't he tell him, like, hey, the Gorse is coming here. Come. You know what I mean? Like, he's using like the observation hockey and he's like, yo, like, I just see the death coming up. Yeah, and like Shaka being masked is so crazy to me because I was having this thought. Hear me out, Sai. Hear me out. I was thinking, you know, uh, Lilith. Lilith could look like Sora, right? Like it could be uh, Sandy's mom or something, right? York could be like Queen's girl or something like that. Stussy's obviously Whitebeard's girl. Like White Stussy is actually Whitebeard's girl. So I was thinking, like, what if like these all these girls were just like like moms of the past they were just cloned and then that would mean shaka would also be a mom and the who better than than luffy's mom dragon's wife which is why shaka t i mean i don't know i was just spitballing i that was a shower i don't know i don't know that was a brushing my teeth thought it wasn't but, exactly but, a shower but, idea. but why would shaka presumably use a voice changer to be to sound like a guy though maybe luffy's mom wanted to be a guy and Ivan Cobb changed the that's why Ivan Cobb and Dragon are best friends. Mm, <laughs> yeah. I like how you I like how you're like, I don't want to consider it, but I don't want to be mean, so I'm just gonna say <laughs> mm, <laughs> I don't like it, it could be a possibility, but like the voice changing thing is like the one that gets me. And plus like if we're saying that the Sora thing isn't working because Sanji sees him and like there's no like interaction there. Yeah, and I feel true. like that would kind of kill that too. Yeah. Like Shaka, but, Shaka's been with Luffy for so a little bit. The, so he, he would have said something. Is that, or even Vegapunk, the OG one would. Who are these clones and why are they important? You know what I mean? Like oh, Vegapunk clarified that they were clones. And I'm like, clones of what? Why? Like, Wait, like who, the, the satellites? Yeah. Like when he referred to them in the Punk Hazard chapter, which is like 1067, he said like, they're clones. Like, he, I mean, obviously Vega, uh, Pythagoras and Edison are probably different right we don't know shaka's situation but york lilith atlas is clearly a robot but like the other ones i don't know they're clones of his personality yeah that's what i thought too i, I didn't that... really read it in in as like a whole like that's clones I, so, of like okay, other that's people. fair that's fair but like then what are the bodies so who, did you just like take people and put them in like who, what are those bodies are they all cybernetic like is lilith and and york the same tier as Edison and Pythagoras and and Alice is then explanation of that. Like, like why make some human and why make some robots? I guess is what my my because I'm thinking that they are clones of something. We just don't know what. Like the same light of Stussy. It's weird, huh? It's really. Confusing. I mean, I I could see that too. I don't know. I I just always thought they were like creations he cooked up. I didn't really see them as like replicas of other people. But I mean, it, it could go both ways, though, to be fair. Yeah. Keenan Cookson has a crack theory. I think Dragon is actually Luffy's mom, and Ivankov changed him. So Garp was being super woke and saying, like, that's your dad, Luffy. That's oh, and also, I, I went back. He says, uh, those are my clones. My clones. Or that's one of my, that, that's one of my clones. So clones, and that's referring to, like, the personality thing. But that still doesn't change. Like, where did those bodies come from? You know, in my opinion, dude. At least, yeah. I was about to say, like, if I had to make a clone of myself, I'd make him look a lot cooler than me. True. 
I'd probably Bro, make I, like a Shaka or something. Yeah, Shaka. Yeah, why not go with Shaka? I, no, oh, I'd have a Shaka and Lilith version of me, and that'd that be it. Bro, the pigeon killed Pythagoras. Yo, um, oh yeah, that's a fair idea. You know, of all the ideas that we played around with, Hattori sh finally showing his true oh feathers God. here is is one that we did not play with. That he nope. went mythical model human thing or or he's a mythical model pet pigeon one way or the other him being a human and and him clinking clanking is is an option here i think maybe possibly i don't know it's interesting that would that would explain why stussy wouldn't know wouldn't know yeah hunter mctarnsey be kind of funny five dollar super chat says zoro getting the toughest egghead f future outfit and sanji gets a hawaiian shirt with boots is pure sanji slander fair how did you like zoro's fit Sai? his fit was really good i liked um I, i'm curious as to why oda gave him the numbers that he has but uh I, I think overall the fit's pretty solid i think that might be the hardest fit in egghead right now yeah what is what is it 55 uh, uh, 56. Uh, 55 or 56, oh, it's kind of I like think that just says close. SSG, probably. You think so? Yeah, because that doesn't look like a 5. It looks like an S. Does it? Yeah. It oh, like you S. could be right. It could just be... Because, like, the outfits end up saying, like, punk or SSG or whatever on it, depending. So, oh, you're right. Brooke has a number 3 on him, though, so I, I assumed it was, like, a number 2. Yeah, like, Nami's boob says SSG. Um... Oh damn! Uh, Luffy's leg says SSG, so it probably says SSG. But on the back of him, it says four hundred, I think. So maybe Zoro has numbers on the back. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I, th I thought it, I thought it was a number. This is why people say I got good drip. I I pay attention to the outfits, you know. Uh, Lord Vegeta, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for gifting a sub to Casuals Matters. Ragnar, shout outs to you. Aim. PDX with a 24 mer. Par, what if Luffy's Dom Shoes Magnet switched on during his running and that's why it broke? So he showed his leg strength beyond Sanji's that Luffy was running while magnetized to the ground. That's just more Sanji slander that I wanted to avoid earlier on. But hey, I, I don't Wait, know. Wait, was, was Luffy tied to the ground? No, we didn't. Uh, or gravitized? I don't think so. But like that, like, I don't know why his shoes would break and then Sanji can't break his shoes. So. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Punk Hazard where Luffy was running so fast that the ground was like on fire. Yup, yep, yep, yep. That's actually going to be another one of my shorts in the future because a lot of people don't know that. Um, Lord Vegeta with the two dollars super chat. What size name on Twitch? I think you you put it in there. It's yeah, I already, I already hit that up. Sinful, technically. Um, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. It, it's it's one of those. Yeah. Uh, JP Legend, and I'm going through the Super Chats quickly because we are going to end at 3.30 and so we have 12 more minutes and I want to talk to the chat and get more side thoughts. So JP Legend with $5 Super Chat says, Horse poop in German is Ferdifil. 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 I, I could not pronounce that for the life of me. I saw that too. Which literally translates to horse apple connection. Your local French, German, and Portuguese translator here. Wow, JP Legend is showing why Seraphims are better than the originals. Because this is JD Legend Seraphim, and you're telling me you're fluent in French, German, France, French, German, and Portuguese. Jay has trouble in the single language that he's <laughs> that he's familiar with. That's crazy, um, and that's wild. Horse poop. Why are we talking about horse poop though? Because we were uh, talking about stronger. No, but why horse poop? Because like it's a uh, it's apple, horse uh, poop apple. apple. That's the so it's a way to get like the apple without dot q being there. Oh. it'd be crazy if all the apples were just as poop. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, yeah. that that would give it some lore. It would explain how he has such an unlimited supply of them too. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have the one and only Geo from Twitter. Geo a is a -W. Geo from Twitter. Yeah, Geo from Twitter is in the Twitch chat. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna end soon, but oh, I can't, can't give you the thing right now. Wait, did he say something? Yeah, he said I made it. He's been wanting to oh. come to these streams. I didn't even see Geo. Wait, where is he? He's on my All he's right. on my Twitch chat. Oh, Twitch. Okay, yeah. I was about to say like he's not on here. I know I, I know he was on Twitch too. Um, I was looking at the YouTube chat. Yeah. 
uh hatari is the name of a great ninja so he might be good in the shadows yo if if this is hatari bro me and sai are going to streak down manhattan naked bro like that's crazy i i've i've given up on the hatari thing but i'm glad there's people I, I am glad there's people who still believe it. And if it is Hattori, I'll be really happy, like a proud father. But I'm not going to lie. Every chapter that goes on without Hattori, I'm just, I'm crying inside. I guess we didn't see him this chapter, though, right? Sai, like, he, he's not here. Uh, you can't jump off the boat that we made together. What? I see, we... I, I mean, Hattori was a good idea at first. But, dude, Hattori just watched Kako and Luchi get beat. I mean, if Hattori was a person... And think about the, I, it, the tropes. It makes think you wonder if Sussie knows, right? Think about the tropes. Bungo Straight Ox. That, that's what happened there, too. That cat didn't do shit, right? Like, how many times... Until the last minute when, when the homeboys got beat it, or like he, defeated. Yeah, and but, that, that's what this chapter is. He's but like... When Sussie clarified to Hattori, he said, don't worry, I just put them to sleep. She talked to Hattori, and Hattori's like, fine. I don't have to come out in my full form. If you think about it, it's like Sai can't abandon me here. Uh, you know what? I I'll Sai's give you this. Sai's the Vega Punk traitor. JP Legend knows. I'll, I'll give you this. If if it is Hatori, it does give us a reason as to why Pythagoras was attacked. Because yeah. if this was a simple kidnapper, we don't need to like, you know, f up the rest of the crew, right? We just need Vegapunk and we, we get out of here. But if it was Hatori or CP0, then it would make sense since they do have the mission to kill all of the Vegapunk. So I'll, I'll, I'll give Hatori that one. So I don't need you to. He could not be the traitor, but he's still a person. Still a person. I need you Hattori? to. Yeah, Hatori. He has feelings, but. Let me tell you right now, dude. It, I'm callous, bro. If I didn't have feelings towards Kuma in this chapter, you know, Hatori can take it. Guys, this is this is hurting me. I was betrayed. This is top five anime betrayals right now. This is crazy right now. All right, moving on to super chats. Zeus eight five four six ten dollars super chat says, "Do you think dragons' tattoos are related to the pattern on giant snake from Skypea? Since it is known as the master of the sky and dragon has wind powers, though I don't." think that it's necessarily because of the wind stuff one of my first tiktoks and it's on my youtube channel um is showing a really cool connection between dragon garp and skypea um specifically the shandoran so uh, and i made that connection of the tattoos and the giant snake and i give an explanation so scroll to the earliest part of my channel and you'll see like a garp dragon like video it's like a minute long or something so that that i'll answer your question Mr. Fan five dollars says, "Why is nobody talking about Morgan's confirmed being Emu? Emu had Vivi's picture, and Emu is a flightless bird. It's all there, Mr. <laughs> Fan." <laughs> Emu also Lelucia Australia, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean this is this is actually a canon to uh, my stream. We talked, we had a whole stream episode about how. Australia is a one piece island given how crazy the animals are there how what what they deal with it's literally a one piece island with the weather and oh and all that but and Morgan's, emu, emu did might declare be, war against Australia yeah they Australia lost the war against emus yeah. um they just like how the the ancient kingdom lost yeah. yeah history repeats itself and and emu and morgans could be brothers and sisters it could be it could be that maybe they're related mr fan maybe they're related uh john scar johnny scarlet johnny scarlet with the one month sub thank you i appreciate you that's also a new name welcome chaos ko ko us chaos five euro super chat says nami is on demon time since wano ended damn trying to step on luchi and robin trying to stop her she trash talked kaido though so i feel wait did robin try to stop her oh yeah I wait see that's oh, did she yeah she's like she's like calm down nami it's fine that's crazy because you'd almost imagine robin would be the one slapping the shit out of luchi and kaku no, well, it doesn't make any sense if Robin were to step on him because Robin and Luchi have been a, a fanfic ship for a long time, so. Oh, sigh. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish, though. I wish. No, 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 no. no. Now I need to know. Uh, on What's other up? websites. Is that a thing on other websites? No. 
Okay, good, good. But it's now usually Robin and the and the no the stop, 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 from, stop, stop, uh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay, we're we're on the next one. Aramaki stand account and ten dollars super chat. The Aramaki stand <laughs> account, <laughs> yo, my man. <laughs> no. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Not your man, Not dude. Your man. Aramaki, one of the best admirals, bro. Hands down. JP Legend, stop that, stop that. But Aramaki stand account, infill down two. Point out wouldn't even be fair. Law, Weevil, Doflamingo, Crocodile, Mihawk, the Beast Pirate Commanders. Could you imagine Oda is on a crazy streak? <laughs> like like Magellan or whoever is there still is just like here you He's go. like, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, like... just you, you can have him. Dude, okay. So the one thing I'm excited about with Impel Down 2.0, we all know it's gonna happen, but the one thing that I'm excited for is definitely Warden Hannibal. I'm excited to Stop. see how he glowed up over the two years. What he's such a great character. What are you he's a great about? character, but he does like his screen time in the manga. We're gonna cut it short there. <laughs> he's, hey, 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 he. I'm just saying he one v one Luffy, right? He 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 took on Luffy by himself. All I gotta say. Aramaki stand account. Next time you you tune into live, make sure it's one of size so he can mod you because you instantly get <laughs> love on his channel uh eru kai oh eric hi the two dollars super chat says bro pigeon killed pythagoras well since he said it now it's true now it's canon oda's gonna write it through because you guys know the if oda watches any stream it's mine um newton's next door two dollars super chat i like that name by the way did vegapunk and dragon set up a trap for the gorosei Whoa, I like that. That would be wild. That and you know what? That's on the tier of brain power that I do expect of them. That like if he can foresee CP0 coming, he should be able to foresee the Gorosei coming. And if he can foresee the Gorosei coming, then then tell Dragon. And then the Dragon and the C uh Vega Punks come together and trap Saint Saturn. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Bro, Dragon though. I feel like every time we see him, he's always getting caught with his pants down, though. No more pants down, dragon, okay? Dude, like, the like oh, Sabo did this at the Reverie. What's going on over there? What's happening? Kuma, where are you going? Like, dragon is cool, but, like, I'm not going to lie. He's always, like, the last person taking action. Like, he's always just watching things go down. I mean, he last we saw, he said the war is happening, right? Like, yo, it's time to get a move on. But, like... What is he doing, though? Because he's all the way back at Kamabaka Queendom. And I was hoping he would come to Egghead Island. Yeah. Because, you know, Kuma was there and he could probably teleport them. But now that Kuma's gone, it's like, if Dragon wants to come here to Egghead, I feel like that would take a while, right? Unless yeah. it's, like, next door. So I, as much as I want Dragon to come here, I don't think it's super plausible. Or plausible. But uh, I, 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 we, we can dream. I hope so. Yeah, we can I hope he comes dream. by um but yeah like i there's a lot to talk about with this chapter and unfortunately we don't have all the time for it and so what i will say is for you guys to tune in uh to on sai's channel go subscribe to sai uh we talk every week about the latest chapter um it gets posted up on this ch channel sometime after this so like maybe friday maybe saturday whichever day um Join our discords because that is how you get notified of everything. Um, so any conversation that we missed on this will probably hit that note right after this. Um, me and Sai are going to go record that thing. And I'm going to send you guys over to the premiere of my latest video, which relates to something that someone super chatted earlier in the stream. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to you guys next week, 1075. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, that's how you guys get the latest and greatest. So thank you, Sai, for being here. Thank you, chat, for all the support. And see you guys soon on the next.